the end of every day for every man, there should come a little time of quiet, lest the noise of each day's battles carry over into night. In this quiet, those who have fully known and truly loved the earth can hear it speak. Its voice may have the strong male ring of courage and say that the shape of man's life is in his own hands. Its voice may also whisper dryly that man walks on earth by sufferance and the way is not always straight. When I was a kid, I used to think all I had to do was grow up. Then I'd be happy, be my own boss. <laughs> well, I'm my own boss, all right. But not happy? Yeah, you might say that. I want money to buy things, like a motorbike maybe. Motorbike? <laughs> Why not? Remember Mato used to come in here? I saw him today. He got a job. He has a motorbike and a fine shirt. Yellow silk with palm trees on it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you all talk about things. Things can't make you happy. You have to have something different inside. Something to change the way you are now for something else. I remember one night in Jogja. Eight years ago. We were fighting then. Fighting hard. The important thing is we were all working for the same thing, to get free and stay free. We are free, but inside we are different. We don't know where we're going any longer, or maybe this just. I don't know where I'm going or what I want. Maybe not, son. But right now, will you take me to Chawas? Chawas? Yes, of course. This is the story of a youth who was a farmer while he was still a child, and a soldier before he became a man. Now his weary body tells him he knows every highway of this long land except the road leading home. And his weary mind says that road may be already closed. Not for many years has the evening song of earth reached as far as his heart. Back there you were speaking scornfully of things, my son. But some things are very important. If they are good things, and you work hard for them, they can help to make you happy. It's how you get them that counts. Maybe, maybe. Listen, my son. When I was very young, there once used to be a saying, to be happy, a man should have a house, a wife, a horse, a knife, and a singing bird. I have had all those things, and one way or another, they all helped me to be happy. I think it's not that simple for me. No, once a man has eaten the fruit of frustration, a simple answer has no savor for him. Just a little further, son. Go into that lane. Stop and take some food with me. We should talk some more. Well...
a good knife. Yes, it's been a long time since I used it, but I keep it sharp. Keep it, son. Keep it. It might bring you luck. Uh, wait. Just in the next village, along that road, lives an old friend of mine. He's working with some woodcutters on a new road. He will give you work. Go now, my son. Return your badge to the owner. And go there tomorrow morning, will you? Why? I mean, why do you give the knife to me? Why do you care what I do? What is your name, boy? Amin. Amin. We need young men. Old men dream dreams. But young men make them come true. My dream is that my countries. My dear country's heart is here, near to the earth. If we put down our roots here, we will stay strong. Our country is different from other countries. We are many islands, thousands of islands. This is our beauty and our strength. For an island is a living thing. Our shores pulse with tides. Our highlands gleam with sea light. We live and move and grow. But we must grow strong in our islands, quick to move as the world moves, but firm, anchored to the very bed of the sea. It's a task for young men, with seeking eyes, like yours, I mean. Sometimes, words one does not quite understand have more power than ordinary words. Besides, it was a good knife, and this strange old man had been kind. In any case, the next morning found Amin at the entrance to the road back to childhood, when all things were clean in shape and simple to understand, and a steadfast spirit was taken quite for granted. many strokes of the heavy knife and many loads of wood before Amin could earn such a horse for himself. But the process had begun. Tamo tirang anak-anak sapi kebubungkan nyabrang kali pengawan Keong kundang cerak sungu so his battered spirit grew in strength as Java morning grows in golden light when all of yesterday is forgiven and forsworn. And it is possible to believe that this morning at last begins a day of good fortune. And every fifth day, market day, when a man can restore himself with his fellow man, can talk and trade as farmers do, and perhaps laugh as children do. Whenever in time, men have left the lone hunt to come together for comfort or safety. They have evolved a test of skill or strength to say, this man casts a longer shadow than those around him. Such a test is Pinchak, a 
duel of sorts, with rules as strict as those which govern a sonnet or a minuet. For I mean, it was one stage in a journey back to a simpler life and an earlier time. Six months from the day he stood to one side and watched a tree go down, Amin entered the old forest with his own crew. It had come to pass as the old man promised. He had put down his roots in the good Indonesian earth and he had flourished. Once more, he was linked to the tough, resourceful village boys and fanciful wise old men. Crops had ripened and the village was at peace. The people in it worked hard and lived in quiet. Amin had walked willingly back into the welcoming warmth of this simplicity. If ever a voice warned him that walking backward it is easier to stumble, he did not hear it. Now it was time for another step to visit the Lura, the village head, a man with a lively local reputation for wisdom. And conservatism. Oh, good morning. Come in. Come in. Uh, Mr. Sukiman. Yes. This is my friend Amin. I told you about him. Yes, yes. Well, young man, speak up. How can I help you? You are new here. Yes. I lived before at Pulong. I would like to live here. There is a piece of land at the edge of the town and an old house. I think I have enough money now to buy a house for myself. Yes, I know the place, Pak Harjos. He went to live in the city. Foolish of him. I think we can work it around. How big a family do you have? I'm not married yet. But maybe when I have a house. Yes, you can find a wife. It shouldn't be too difficult. We'll arrange something. Uh, I have to talk to some people from the city shortly. But you wait. We'll go over to the house as soon as they have left. All right? All right? Yes, yes, all right. These city people, always something new. We have kept Nojo a good village by keeping to the old ways. I don't care what other villages plan to do. We are going to keep Mojo the way it is. We have always, and they can have theirs. There they are now. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. This is my colleague from Jakarta. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Johan? Oh, hi, Amir. <laughs> what a long time since I've seen you. Not since Jogja. He was my commander. <laughs> Where have you been all this time? Mostly in Jakarta. I'm working with public house now. Not bad. I've come to see Mrs. Kimon about the problem. Problem? There is no problem. I explained it to you. We have been good village. With no trouble from anything or anyone. And now you want to come in and change things and upset our people. No, no, sir. We don't want that. It's just that we think you have been very lucky so far, and there's no reason to think you'll continue to be. This village is very healthy for this part of the country, but there is malaria here and all around here. Well, young gentlemen, sit down, sit down. Thank you very much. You 
procedure, we are trying to wipe malaria out of Indonesia completely. But the mosquitoes are very strong and clever in their way. They've learned to resist the insecticides we used before. Now we have new ones, much more powerful. But before they develop a strain which will resist this too, we must wipe out all malaria from everywhere in the islands. It means every village must cooperate. Spraying white dust on the walls, covering the water jars, clearing the ponds. I have seen it all in other villages. And there are still mosquitoes in those villages. All this spring for nothing. Look, we are not trying to eliminate mosquitoes. We are trying to eliminate malaria. Believe me, sir, it is an emergency. Yes, we'll have to go now. Thank you for talking to us. We'll come back later if you may. Of course, of course. Glad to see you. I won't change my mind. But I'm always glad to see you, young man. Thank you, sir. Malaria control, about which all this conflict swirled, is basically simple. Primarily, to spray the walls of all the structures in a fixed area with a solution of insecticides. Malaria is not only a debilitating disease which can rob a man of half of his physical power, but it is a killer. It is a killer which can be stopped. To the battle against this ancient tropical enemy, which is being waged by Indonesian people from North Sumatra to the far islands of the East, the weapons have been contributed by the people of America through ICA. Insecticides, vehicles, scientific instruments, malaria control experts. Some technical advice also comes from the United Nations. The total success of the battle depends on the total cooperation of every village. You really think the Rura is wrong, don't you? Wanting to keep things all the way they were. Cause is wrong. You can't keep things unchanged, not anymore. I'm not so sure. For a long time, after you last saw me, I tried to go along with the new kinds of life. I went to the city and tried to work in a factory. But I'm not... Well, I do not have the skill to do anything but work in the field or the forest. From the day I decided to come back to what I knew when I was a boy, things have gone better for me. I think we country people just need to work together for something we believe in. Then we are all right. I mean, friend, you miss the point. I don't complain about the old ways unless we let them build walls around us. But there are good things in the new ways. In the last five years, while you and a lot of others like you have been wandering around trying to find a place in life, this has become an important country. Now, our generation has the job of keeping our country healthy and prosperous and peaceful at home. So that what it says and does abroad will be listened to and respected. Big ideas, Johan. Maybe, but think about them. Ami knew that the struggle between Johan and the Lura was important to them but he could not quite see that it affected him. He had so much to think about, a house and a garden to cultivate, and a broadening horizon. The knife, the horse, the house, all of these from the old Haji's incantation were already his. As for a wife, as the Lura said on an earlier occasion, that shouldn't be too difficult. I 
Amin had nearly his whole dream and a captive audience to hear him talk about it. There was not a cloud on his horizon, not a flaw in his blissful logic. But there was malaria here. Yes, Amin, the Lulas had said it could not happen here, but it could, it had, and to Marlina. What now, Amin? What price the old ways of isolation from today and the world outside? One thought alone will not go away. This need not have happened. Because Johan is your friend, he did not say, I told you so. He promised to send a doctor from his own staff. Because God is merciful to foolish men, he will not take away this small, vulnerable being on whom you have focused your whole world. If he does, if he does not, what then, I mean, which way? many for away places together, Malina. You've never seen the ocean. We must see it together. admit he is wrong, and gallantry and good sense, the Lura had them all. He requested Johan to come back to the village with his team and go to work. And so, as the old tales say, they were married. From the moment Amin signed his name, they were married by law, but a thousand years of honored usage sanctify what followed. of Siri leaves to say which of them will rule the house. The breaking of the egg. The washing of feet. children now, neither weighs heavier upon him than the other.
sharing of food. All of this to say that from this day forward, their paths go along together. Bless this house, O God. Bring strength to its walls, health, happiness, and good fortune to its children. sweet call out of men's highest hopes. 